And still on the issue of building collapse, another building gave way on Tuesday. And for that reason, the Building Collapse Prevention Guild has appealed to authorities to work with professionals and also review the state's master plan as soon as possible. It's barely two weeks after the collapse of a three-story building on Isafaji in Lagos Island and another structure comes down. This rubble used to be a two-story residential building with some shops attached to it. It was among unfit buildings marked for demolition by the Lagos state government. If you look at the building that, is, that just collapsed, you'll see that a lot of the debris are overground. Tell us that this is more of a superstructure failure, that is the foundation is still intact. If it was a foundation failure, the building would have caved in. All over the state, we have a 149, 149 identified. And we're doing it in batches. So we're going to get to the entire 149. This man and some others escaped death by the whiskers. He tells us that all the occupants of the apartment had exited after government's demolition order. 30 minutes of the incidents, I'm just hearing some sound. The sound I'm hearing, this is what is happening in Lagos Island, so I have to be vigilant. So the sand, I'm not comfortable with the sand. Three times I heard the sand. It was the way sand. Boo, 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 boo. So I have, to, I have to break glass with my hand. So glory be to God. The recent building collapse at Itafaji area of Lagos has drawn the attention of the Building Collapse Prevention Guild in the state to the issue. The group of engineers are appealing to government at all levels to work with professionals in order to curb the incessant building collapses in the state and also proffer solutions to mitigate the menace. They advise the Lagos state government to review the state master plan while also recommending the setting up of a committee to identify all those that have defaulted the building rules. Government should pay serious attention to the following areas. Lagos Island, Oboronshoki, Flash Barriga, Shomolu, Ebutemeta, Mushin, Ajegule, to identify all precariously standing buildings. In this regard, government should set up a high-powered committee comprising government officials and the private sector core professionals, which will employ the Legal State's Material Testing Laboratory, LSMTL, to check the integrity of buildings in these areas. Government should commission a committee to research and come up with ways to strengthen some identified defective or dilapidated buildings in Lagos. Not all precarious buildings may be demolished. Building control officials and indeed professionals in the built environment should be encouraged and empowered to report any endangered building they notice. It is imperative that the Lagos State Government should revisit and review the entire Lagos master plan. Most importantly, it should commence an urban renewal program for its inner cities that are presently suffering degradation, dilapidation, and rain. Henceforth, upon the meticulous implementation of our recommendations, professionals involved in any building collapsed, any building collapse should be punished according to the law. If this is properly implemented, we are 100% in charge of the construction activities. If there's any erring professional, they should be punished. Emergency response team from the state is swift while the Lagos State Building Control Agency says about 149 unfit houses across the state will be brought down in the coming weeks. Already, over 20 have been demolished on Lagos Island, while the process continues daily. If all the laid down rules can be strictly adhered to, perhaps the building collapse can be reduced to its barest minimum.